Hey y'all, uh, so this recipe is for the Hennessy Peach Cobbler Cinnamon Roll. And if you do not like Hennessy or you just don't want to put it in, all you have to do is just don't use any Hennessy at all. And it will still come out delicious. So this recipe is going to be universal for any type of cognac or without cognac. So here's everything you need. Cornstarch, cinnamon, lemon juice, vanilla one or two cans of cinnamon rolls it depends on how much dough you would like peaches two cans of peaches again that depends on how much peaches you would like in there you need some brown sugar white sugar one stick of butter and then you need about two tablespoons extra of butter so that's going to be everything the only thing not picture here is the nutmeg if you like nutmeg you're gonna go ahead and use nutmeg. I don't have any nutmeg right now, but if I did, I would add it. So let's get started. And the recipe for this is gonna be in the description box. So if you wanna go over there and check it out, write down the recipe. So go ahead and dump in your peaches one can is going to have juice in it so you're going to keep the juice and the peaches and you're just going to dump that whole thing in now for the other can you are not going to use the juice okay so you're going to strain that juice out of the second can so take that second can and just drain all that juice out Once you get all of that juice drained out of there, then you just go and just dump those peaches right into your pot. And that extra juice that you have in the can, just make sure you save that, put that to the side for later. So now I'm just going to dump everything right into this pot. One fourth a cup of sugar. One fourth a cup of brown sugar. one teaspoon of cinnamon and if you have the nutmeg like I said go ahead and dump in a half a teaspoon of nutmeg two teaspoons of vanilla one teaspoon of lemon juice one stick of butter Now, mix your cornstarch in a separate bowl that's going to be off to the side. The reason why you're going to do that is because if you just dump your cornstarch straight into the pot, it will create these clumps and it won't dissolve fully. So what you're going to do is with a couple, maybe about two tablespoons of the leftover juice from the peaches, you're just going to dump a little in there. Okay, you don't need a lot. Then you're going to mix that up. And then you are going to take that bowl and just dump it in. That is going to make the syrup thicken up. Now you are going to add five tablespoons of Hennessy directly into your pot. So you're going to take your Hennessy, you're going to get five tablespoons or whatever cognac that you're going to be using. Five tablespoons go into the pot. Now you're just going to turn that eye on high and you're going to get this all boiled up. And don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 while you are doing this step because you need to have a hot oven when you place your peach cobbler into the oven. You need it to be hot for those cinnamon rolls to bake up well. So just mix this up as you go. You're going to see it start to boil and the butter is going to start to melt. Just going to keep mixing it up. 
So now I'm just going to take your pan, whatever pan you're going to use. You can use glass or you can use um, a metal one. I'm just going to use this aluminum one just um, because I'm going to be taking it somewhere and I don't want to have to clean the dish afterwards. So this one is going to be ideal for me, but use whatever dish you would like. So take some of that butter and just line your pan with a little butter at the bottom. I'm just going to take your butter it all at the bottom of the pan so while my mixture is still boiling I am going to cut my cinnamon rolls in half and I am using the grand flaky layers and make sure your cinnamon rolls are cold and fresh out the refrigerator because you don't want them to be too soft they won't be able to uh, you won't be able to manage them as well as if they were a little stiffer so I'm just gonna cut the roll right in half and my mixture is bubbling up pretty well so I'm gonna give that a few more minutes while that's still going I am going to line the pan so that pan is all buttered up Take those cinnamon rolls and just start to line the bottom of your pan. And like I said, if you like a lot of dough, you're going to cover the whole entire bottom. If you don't like a lot of dough, you don't need to cover the entire bottom. It's all going to depend on your preference. my pan is completely lined now so this is what I was referring to about the amount of cinnamon rolls that you're gonna need the uh, grand flaky layers I'll show you how much I have left over just so you can get an idea of how many you are gonna need so that's how much I have left that little bit which is not enough to go on top so that's why I am gonna use two cans of cinnamon rolls like I said, if you don't like that much dough, one can will be just fine. You'll just spread this out a little more and you'll use half of it to go on top. Now my mix is nice and done. It's pretty thick. Everything is melted. The butter, all of the ingredients are fully incorporated. So now I'm just going to turn this off. And I'm going to pour this right over the cinnamon rolls. Look at all that peachy goodness. So spread that out right on top pretty evenly. And then you're going to add your pieces of cinnamon roll. I got my second can here that I'm going to open. Now, I cut my rolls in half and then in half again. So, you're going to take one roll, okay? Cut it in half. And then, cut it in half again. You're going to make them into fours. And there's all my pieces. Now, you're just going to drop them all over the place on top if you want to make a design and you want to make the uh, crisscross like the real peach cobbler then you can do that as well you don't absolutely have to chop it up into pieces like this you just spread them around evenly and there it is so doing it this way I did end up using two full cans of cinnamon rolls now with that extra two tablespoons of butter, I'm just going to drop the butter sporadically around the top. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter where, just going to place the butter all around. Now that butter is all around and it is ready to go into the oven. If you like a lot of cinnamon, go ahead and sprinkle you some more cinnamon on top. If not, you're going to put this right into the oven, 350 degrees 
for about 10-15 minutes it's gonna depend on your oven you're gonna have to watch it because everyone's oven is gonna cook differently and then also once you notice the cinnamon rolls are baked up and turning a little bit brown that's when you can take it out so just make sure your cinnamon rolls are browning now that has gone into the oven uncovered so while that is in the oven I am going to start making the glaze so you can make this glaze with Hennessy with any type of cognac or you can make it without once again don't add it if you do not want to have any alcohol in this recipe so two cups of powdered sugar one tablespoon of milk now you're gonna add four tablespoons of your liquor so your Hennessy or whatever you're using you're gonna add four tablespoons directly into the powdered sugar mix and then add your leftover icing that came in the package so for me I have two packages of icing that I'm gonna pour right in now once you start stirring if you notice that is a little too thick for your liking all you have to do is just add a little bit more milk so you see how thick that is just gonna go ahead I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of milk now I got the glaze that I wanted here and I'm just gonna check on the progress of the cinnamon rolls cinnamon roll peach cobbler so there's my progress it's been in for 10 minutes now so after 10 minutes it's starting to bake up pretty well I'm gonna give it another five minutes so just let that sit and cool down before you pour your glaze on there that's very important or your glaze will just disappear and just turn into like nothing because it's so hot and melts it so here's my glaze and um, everything is cooled down so I'm just going to start to drizzle it over and across. Now I'll put however much you like. You know some people don't like so much of that icing but just put however um, the amount that you feel you want on there. But that's going to be it. That's the end result. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can always let me know what treats you want me to uh, show you how to do. And any questions you might have, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. See you later, guys.